So to do a French knot, you're just going to bring the needle up where you want it to be. And you're going to wrap the thread around the needle. I'm going to do it twice. And you're going to keep hold of your thread. And then you're going to put the needle back in near where you've brought it up. You're going to pull the thread just so it's hugging the needle. So you don't want it so that it's so tight that when you push the needle through that you're going to struggle. And you don't want it too loose because when you pull the needle through the back, it'll just unravel and it'll look messy. So you just want it so that it's hugging the needle. And once it's there, you can keep hold of it and then pull your needle through to the back. Keep hold of it. And then let go the very last bit. And it should just form a nice knot. This does take practice. A lot of practice. So you can do as many turns or a, you can just do one as you like. So if I just did one, obviously it will be a smaller uh, French knot. And obviously then again, the more you wraps you do around the needle, the bigger it'll be. It's all about tension on the thread. So when you wrap it around and you've put it back in and you pull it down to the bottom, just keep the same tension on it and then let go the very last little bit. So one, two, needle in. See how it's really loose there? And I'm just pulling it gently. So it hugs the needle. So it's loose there, pulling it down so it's at the bottom. If you do wrap it too tight, just let go of your thread a little bit so it's a bit more slack. And that is how you do a French knot. So I'm just going to finish my thread off like I usually would, just by pushing it through the back. And that is that pattern complete. So join me next time and I will be starting the next pattern.